inevitable. Let's get right into it. This is the Avengers Endgame, Infinity Saga, Iron Man, Mark 85, and Thanos 2-pack. Um, incredibly, I was able to find this at my local Target on the shelf. Um, the price tag was a little high, but there's no way I was putting this thing back on the shelf. Um, brought it home with me, and I'm still um, in a little bit of, of disbelief that I was able to find this pack it's probably one of the most expensive Marvel Legends purchases um, in my collection so far, which isn't saying much. I, I'm not a, a huge spender when it comes to these, but, um, you know, uh, work within your budget, you know, don't don't uh, go out of your out of your budget to have fun um, anyway. And certainly don't pay the scalpers. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, unbox this thing. Yeah. All right. So I got the. Uh, Opener of things made from things, recently sharpened um, with my trusty Dremel. So let's get right to it. Very carefully. Hope I do this within frame. Kind of experimenting with new camera angle and backdrop here. Let me know what you think. I think it's appropriate that it's a garage. It may have had something to do with the name of my channel. Most times I don't care much about a box, but this is pretty special, I think. Oh, my hands is whoa! Those aren't packed in there very tight. One of his hands fell out. I don't know if you saw if that was in frame. There we go. Let's like so. Ooh, there's the hand. Okay. Not bad. Wow, uh, got some unreadables here, legalese, whatever you want to call them. Wow, um, I don't, I don't expect this to really come in like a nice briefcase or anything like the, uh, what was that DVD box set, phase one, uh, Blu-ray box set, that was pretty amazing. I don't have that, I wish I did, it came with a tester rag and a briefcase. Anyway, this is not that, um, these are, you know. They're Marvel Legends. They're not imports or anything. Um, I kind of prefer less of a packaging scheme. Keeps the cost down. And uh, wow, look at these things, huh? Um, I did watch a couple of other reviews before I posted this. It's very early on. I don't. I, I was expecting to see a ton of reviews from a bunch of other um, reviewers that I'm subscribed to, but surprisingly, no. Um, not very many, so. The, the few that I did watch, and from what people are saying online, um, the Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt is incredible. Uh, both of them, actually. The likeness is, is just amazing, but it is a tad on the large side. So let, let's, uh, let's free these guys. Of their, well, give me a hand here. Um, let's free these guys of their plastic prison, and we'll get to it. Crinkle, crinkle. Ooh. All right. Wow. Um, that's pretty impressive. I gotta say, uh, Hasbro has stepped up their game considerably for this. Um, I'm not sure about the gray in between the gold. I'll have to go back and look at some reference photos because sometimes I'll touch up my figures if I feel they're not accurate, but 
I don't know, maybe. Depends on lighting, I guess. So, yeah, the, I mean, even the articulation, like, there's good head tilt. They went with a barbell on these because uh, I remember, was it the, the original uh, Mark 85 that came out um, with the, uh, geez, what was it, um, Dude Thor, build a figure? Um, people were saying how the neck uh, for an unsculpted, uh, or for a rather than an unhelmeted Robert Downey Jr., the neck was still armored. So, what they did is they just have a it's, it pops out real easy. Um, and then this is on a a ball inside, a, dun or a dumbbell pivot inside. So, it's, it pops in real easy. And that way, when you put the helmeted version on. You don't get any weird gaps in the armor so that just pops on here I mean, but look at that look at that likeness if I focus here there I mean just wow that's that's incredible very well done for a Hasbro piece Wow if they just made it like 5% smaller anyway let's get this armored head on there and there now see and you still get um, some really great tilt that all the way down be good all the way up for flight yeah it could be better up so if he's yeah that's that could have been better mm. but you know for the effect of the, the armored piece there pretty cool um, there's no there might be a slight butterfly, but not not anywhere near like a Spider-Man figure. I think it's just kind of, it's just a loose shoulder. Not loose, but you know, it's just got a little bit of give. Anywho. Um, yeah. Oh, well, you could probably, th oh, okay, something just kind of clicked. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Looking up. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's got your standard uh, bicep swivels, double jointed elbows. Um, nothing's really tight from what I can see so far. Um, this does have the swappable hand. So this one here has all of the infinity stones in it. He's in the snap pose there. Man, what a scene when uh, he snapped. And my son, uh, sorry, Andrew, if you're watching this, but he, he blubbered. Uh, uncontrollably <laughs> I was able to hold it together but my son not so much yeah. Iron Man has always been his favorite he's got thigh cuts there pretty decent kicks up that far not not super far I mean let me straighten him out for you give you some frame of reference there so that's standing up kicking out mm, not so high but, I mean, this isn't, uh, this is Mark 85, not Kung Fu suit, so it's fine. Speaking of, I got some stuff for later. While I was at Target, there were things that were on sale. Ankle goes back decently. You know, like we said, this is just Iron Man, it's not Kung Fu Man. Uh, up pretty good. Solid ankle pivot. Uh... Let's see the Glen. Let's see the Glen. Can it Glen? Kinda. It's not bad. I mean, I have to hold it. Let's see. Let's see the unsupported Glen. Oh, it's tough. Not quite enough ankle pivot, but it's just really top heavy. It doesn't balance that. Big. Whoa, it doesn't balance that great. Also, this cardboard floor on my display is not the flattest. Let's see. Yeah, it's just not balancing. It doesn't want to do it. Huh? All right. Yep. Well, you know. But uh, you know, it's a pretty pretty standard Iron Man articulation. Uh, wrists got the swivel there and hinge. Uh, the snapping. Go this way. A little bit of West Side Story effect. Uh, 
yeah, you got swappable hands here. Okay, you can put in an open hand. It's got a port for repulsor effect. We all love our Iron Man repulsor effects here. Uh, you do get two of them. Come on out. Get out. Oh. Wow, they're really in there. Jeez, did they glue them in? Wow. 24 right. hours later. Low hanging fruit. There we go. Yep. Oh, these are more rubbery than usual. Yeah. You know how we all love our uh, Iron Man Repulsor Blast effects. And we get them here, not to disappoint. Got that good Iron Man Blast. Sweet. Standard stuff. All right. Um, so you got two options with the, uh, oh, and you have more fists here. These are actually taped in. That's great. The first open hand just flew right out. You have some fists here. For some good old Thanos punching action. Um, and you have an undamaged Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt here. There it is. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you can... I wonder if that would... I don't know. Uh, I've seen you can pop this, this neck piece off. I don't know if the head would fit then on, like, say, your tuxedo Stark that came with the Mark I for the, uh, um, what was the anniversary uh, saga. You know, the two-pack Stark in the suit with, uh, uh, maybe, I don't know, insert image here. Yeah. I don't know if this would fit on there if you pop the neck out. You can do that. You can pop the neck out. I just don't know what it would fit on. I don't have that figure. I didn't get that two-pack. Because that Mark One is atrocious. Ask me how I know. I actually have it. When it came out in 2000, gosh, 2007, I picked one up. And they have not yet improved on that. But with the Ironmonger coming out, who knows? Anyway, yeah, really great. Nice wash on the hair. Um, face printing technology. The sculpt is just incredible. Great, great likeness. A little bit of mold flashing here next to his ear tiny bit so i can fix that with an exacto behind his ear again there yeah but i mean i'd say 99 percent. that thing is that's incredible that is a great robert downey jr all right i'll stop gushing uh what's going on with the purple guy back here oh uh, let me move all these work 85 bits get him out of the way uh, oh, we got the. Right, so we got. Uh, I think it's kind of redundant for our man to have like a blaster. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it looks more like something Star Lord would carry. I don't know what's going on with that. But there's that. He's got this uh, shield he comes with. I know he does use the shield a bit in the movie. So I clip, just clip, on, clip it on his arm there. Pretty neat, nice transparent, lucent, uh, opaque, I guess you could say. Pretty cool. And a big purple guy. Get ready for crinkles. Oh. You know, I don't have much for comparison or height on this guy. Uh, I should go get my end game build a figure Hulk. Yeah, he agrees. Be right back. All right. So, like, I know they never really appear on screen together, but to give you an idea. There we go. So that's the Build-A-Figure Endgame Hulk. You know, the Wave uh, Rescue... War Machine, Beta Ray Bill, Shuri. Um, so that's that's a pretty good size comparison there. Um, if you remember the scene in the beginning of, gosh, was it Infinity War? When Hulk uh, pretty much got his ass handed to him by Thanos on the, uh, on the ship. 
Um, I think that's about right. Because Hulk was still a little bit bigger, but uh, Thanos was just, I mean, he's a more skilled, uh, you know, he's got years, hundreds and hundreds of years, maybe, of, of combat experience, whereas Hulk is just splash, you know. Anyway, so that's, that's a pretty good size comparison there. That is toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I mean, they're almost eye-to-eye -eye at this point, really. You know, let's go for that uh, the boxing match or UFC weigh-in pose there. Yeah, Hulk's got him by maybe, what, a quarter inch or so? I'd love to see how a Korg stacks up against these two. I need to get me a Korg. Anyway, like I said, um, you, you quickly see them briefly fighting uh, in, in Infinity War on board the ship. Hulk um, doesn't do so great, but anyway, there you go. There's your size comparison. And, uh, you know, why don't I just throw the figure in that uh, came in this box set for a size comparison, because they actually go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And that looks about right. Um, yeah, it comes up to us, his chest, but just the bottom of his chest there. Um, that's a pretty good size comparison. I think that scales well. Um, yeah, just for... But why not? Uh, one of the coolest moments for me in the movie. Seeing these two together. So I figured I'd do it on camera here in my review. Bittersweet, right? Man. Like 15 minutes of uh, rescue and Iron Man doing the thing. That actually scales really well. Uh, I do not have an unhelmeted pepper pots. Um, the two pack is coming out soon, or is it out now? I know pre I know they're taking pre orders. The two pack that came with uh, rescue pepper pots and uh, end game Captain Marvel, but I have not yet reserved that, so we'll we'll see how that goes. That's another pricey one. I don't know why. I mean, this this is a much better deal at pretty much the same price. I don't know if I can cough up that much dough to get another. Carol Danvers. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. Uh, that's that's the purple guy here. He's got head swaps galore. It comes with three separate heads. Aside from the one that you're seeing. So a total of four. You're going to hear some crinkling. These heads are in there pretty tight. Yeah. Okay. You got helmeted. Jeez, they carry these heads up here, man. That one wasn't too bad. Yeah, unhelmeted with kind of a smirk or just a slight amusement grin. Uh huh. I think I have to flatten out the cardboard on that. have I am not amused so a bit of a scowl there and they did great on these sculpts as well apologize for my he just got a really deep brow um, get some light in there really really did an amazing job on these uh, Hasbro just pulled out all the stops and said you know what we need to give these fans what they want and they did. I think they did. This set is really great. I'm glad I waited. It's my first Thanos ever. I think I may have like pieces of the first bath from Infinity War, but um, come on. There we go. Yeah, that's that's great. That's the Mad Titan. That's the purple guy. They got the. I think they got the color pretty much nailed this time. Man, this thing is not focusing. There. Yeah, I think they got the color really nailed this time. They got some some good paint apps with the uh, 3D face printing technology. Solid. And then you have Angry Warface with the helmet. That's the... Uh, yeah. yeah, that's really great. Really did a good job on this one. 
that's incredible a little bit of the uh, marbling in the helmet but that's fine it it blends in pretty well with the uh, the armor speaking of the armor um, oh yeah so I wish nobody says anything about this in all the other reviews and I wish there was something said about could we get a non gauntleted arm that would have been great I don't know if there's any way to combine pieces from previous Thors because I would really like to not I would like the option if they gave us four heads could they have given us maybe a non gauntlet arm you know because I want yeah, so that's just on a typical Marvel Legends neck there because I mean if we got that head I would have loved to have had a not gauntleted hand to go up against another figure I don't have which is the worthy uh Captain America, where he's got Thor's Mjolnir. Uh, that, to me, is an amazing, amazing, amazing figure. And it really kind of captures the essence of Worthy Rogers at his best in that point of the movie. Really, I mean, I, I think I jumped out of my seat cheering when that happened. That was amazing. All right, so in this one, he has the stones. Um, because if you remember, well, this is like, what's going on here? what oh. oh Houston we have a problem what in the heck all right that's weird he can't uh, he can't do a curl he can't lift okay is that weird or what what is going on um Hasbro what's going on here okay all right Joint is just a little stiff. We're good. We're good, people. We're good. <laughs> Stand down from freak out. All right. Um, anyway, so he has the stones at this point, and that's when Stark jumps on jumps on him and uh, pulls them off, or, or maybe the Mark 85 pulls them off, automatically has a jewel relocation function. <laughs> Being that, you know, it's all the same uh, technology. It makes sense. And then when he snaps, remember no stones and i kind of wish he had the the confused face you know with his eyebrows up what it should have been a, but instead they give us the dusted half dusted head it just looks melted like from the first snap you know from the infinity war snap because <laughs> he was pretty jacked up and it, this is supposed to be when he's getting dusted after uh iron man snaps yeah i know what they're going for but it just doesn't doesn't do it for me how do you make smoke coming off of a head? I don't know, clear plastic with some gray airbrushed on it? That would have been better, I think. I don't know. Yeah, that one's going to go in the box, I think. It's going to get displayed with this head. Yep. Well, actually, did he, he didn't have his helmet on at that point, did he? No, he took it off. Um, I think he had the helmet on when he was fighting everyone else. But, but at that point, he didn't have the gauntlet, so... Ah! They'll come out with another two-pack, you know, a year from now and make us spend $130 again. But, you know, um, for a big guy, decent articulation, got the double knees, single jointed elbows, but I mean, you know, to the Mad Titan, he doesn't uh, he doesn't need to floss or anything. Like his teeth, I mean, oh, jeez, yeah, he can reach. <laughs> All right. Well, um, but they have really deep, if you see those... those um, swivels on the arm go halfway down his forearm so really he has got for single elbows they go up pretty high yeah they go way past 90 so again hasbro good job on that um this is really an impressive set ab crunch there no swivel because mad titan um well he glenn he's got some pretty mean ankle pivot See the Mad Glen. No. Oof. Just about. Get some balance back here. It's all about the balance. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, this foot's coming up a little bit. Was that the maxed out ankle? Yep. That's maxed out. So. Pretty good. 
Not bad. Not bad. He's no Spider-Man, but we'll take it. Um, pick it up. Go run out there and get this set. Uh, they're in your stores now somewhere. Um, I don't have a DCPI or anything listed for you to go look them up on BrickSeek, but I'm sure somebody at this point has done that. Um, uh, uh, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll give that a pass. That's, it's touching the armor. Not bad. Yeah, I'm waiting for, you know, Foosh and, you know, Robo, uh, Shardimus. Where are you guys at, man? Post up the, uh, the two-pack here. Let's see it. I'm, I'm anxious to see what they have to say about this two-pack because I really think, like, this is very much a, um, not an apology, but just, like, Hasbro is like, hey, we know you guys have wanted this two-pack, um, and I think they really knocked it out of the park, other than probably if I had one complaint about this whole pack is the fact that I can't get my Iron Man to stand up. No, that's just my, my cardboard floor here. Not Hasbro's fault at all. Come on. Oh, jeez. I might need to edit that. All right, cool. Nobody move. Oh, so if I had one complaint, it's the gauntlet. Can we can we not have the gauntlet on? <laughs> can we have a, a swappable? A swappable from the elbow down would have been a world of difference. Get rid of this head. Nobody wants this. This is... I would have much rather, instead of this, had an arm without the gauntlet. Other than that, this set is fantastic. Um, really, really great. Um, yeah. Go out there and go get them. Uh, like I said, they're a little pricey. 65-ish uh, US dollars. Um, use your red card at Target and <laughs> save 5%. Uh, but go get them. Yeah, they're, it's, it's a great set. Highly recommended. I can't wait to get this on my shelf. And uh, with the rest of my MCU figures. But yeah, this is a Random Stuff Garage. And it was the, the Avengers Endgame Infinity Saga. Iron Man Mark 85 and Thanos 2-pack. Catch you later. You're still here. It's over. Go home. Oh, you're expecting a teaser. You expecting Sam Jackson show up with an eye patch and a saucy little leather number? Go.